The start of another hot summer day at Burba Lake. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. This week we're calling it the Summer Break Edition as Mead TV staff have taken some vacation time. But we do have some great news and information to pass along. Registration for the Army 10 Miler is open. The VA has some new apps and a story on the Battle of Baltimore. These stories and more, but first we did want to address the hot topic of the week, the changes in gate hours. Earlier this week, the garrison announced some changes in hours at the Rockenbach and MAPES 32 access control points. Briefly, the MAPES 32 gate is closed weekends and holidays, and the Rockenbach gate is now going to close at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. The changes are effective Saturday, July 29th. A lot of feedback we received from the announcement centered on two things. One, why not Rockenbach as the 24-7 gate? My concern was, especially as we looked at this 24 hour, I didn't want everybody coming through Rockenbach knowing that it is a family area and that we have the school there. It's fine right now, but by the end of August on the 28th, MacArthur Middle will be back in, se in session. And we know that that road is already uh, a little scary for pedestrians as they're trying to cross the street there. And uh, we've increased our policing. But now if I put the entire workforce coming in and out through that area. I, I put our families and kids at risk. And the Colonel also addressed the question of using service members to man the gates. Being an installation and having the senior commander authorities of MDWCG General Braden Camp, uh, we are able to have the Directorate of Operations task for manpower. And so that's one of the things we're looking at now is how many soldiers, sailors, airmen, guardians, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen can we task in order to help uh, meet that gap? Because ultimately the challenge is if we don't task, we may have to reduce this further and that's what we're trying to avoid at all costs. You can read more on the gate change hours on the front page of our website or on the website's digital mead page. Meanwhile, the garrison is continuing its efforts to hire enough gate guards so these changes can be reversed and hours expanded. The garrison is hosting a security guard hiring fair Tuesday, August 22nd from 10 to 1 at Pershing Hall. It's a one-stop mass hiring event open to the public. We posted the requirements several times on our website and social media sites. I'll remind you of one, you're required to apply through USA Jobs prior to the event. Walk-ins are welcome, but pre-registration is recommended. Meanwhile, Fort Meade has always been well represented at the Army's annual Army 10 Miler race in Washington, D.C. Registration is now open for this year's race scheduled for Sunday, October 8th. The 10 Miler features team and individual competitions and also a virtual version if you can't make it to D.C. You can find out more at Army10Miler.com. Elsewhere, the VA has released a series of apps for your mobile devices designed for mental health self-care. The apps feature coping tools, symptom tracking, and access to crisis support. We all struggle sometimes. Occasionally feeling down or stressed is a normal experience. Luckily, there are tools that can help. VA mental health apps are one more tool for your toolbox. You can access these tools wherever you are, whenever you need them, like when you can't sleep at night, or in situations where you need to manage your own stress. Apps are designed to be used in the way that works best for you. Check out resources for finding treatment. Try a coping tool. Or track your symptoms over time. Help is at your fingertips. VA mental health apps are free, secure, and private. To learn more, visit www.ptsd.va.gov slash mobile. And finally this week, the National Museum of the United States Army takes a look at the Battle of Baltimore Sword. Greetings and welcome to another edition of Curator's Corner. I'm in the Founding the Nation Gallery and behind me is a sword and scabbard that belonged to Captain John Berry. What makes this sword so special is that Captain Berry had the sword at the Battle of Fort McHenry during the War of 1812. Now the sword itself is magnificent. It was custom made in France and etched with an ivory hilt. The curved blade is etched with an early federal style eagle and star. The sword's rib ivory grips are flanked by twin lion heads and topped with a plumed Roman helmet. Now I want to thank you for joining us for another edition of Curator's Corner. And for more information about Captain Berry's sword or the museum, please visit our website. Hope you enjoyed our summer break edition of Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.